Good morning. So today we're going to talk about when you speak. So this is that moment. This is that nervous time. This is when the butterflies are turning. It's your turn to stand up and speak. One of the things that I personally hate the most, and it's a very common thing, and I, most people don't realize they're doing it, when they stand up, they start really strong and they're very confident. And by the end of their one minute or 45 second little spiel, they're talking so quiet. You can't even hear what they're saying. They're just, they've lost all their confidence. Try to avoid that. Practice in front of the mirror. Record yourself on the phone. Write down your notes. These are all things that can help you be more confident when you speak. So what I wrote down is state your name and business clearly and confidently. You want to make sure people understand who you are and what you do. This is your sales meeting, people. You want to be clear, crystal clear. And you want to be positive and you want to be confident. So speak clearly and confidently. I wrote that down. This is, this is what it all it is. That's the big thing. Know what you're going to say. Sometimes that means rehearse it. Speak confidently and clearly. And know your tagline. You're going to be asked what you do. Be prepared to explain it. And, and don't give some boring answer. Explain why you do what you do. Show your passion behind it. Know your tagline. Watch your language. <laughs> A lot of us, especially us veterans, my light just died. Now that that technical difficulty is over, <laughs> I apologize for that. So uh, I believe we were at uh, when you speak and I had just started to say to watch your language and light went out. So it's important, pay attention to what you're saying. Not everybody in the room shares your opinions, your values, your beliefs. So try to stay as neutral as you can. Uh, Watch your language. Just don't swear. Some people find it as a sign of disrespect. Some people view it differently than you do, maybe. So just don't do it. Just a general good idea. Uh, be interesting and brief. Just because you like hearing your stories doesn't mean other people do. <laughs> uh, this might be something that I make the mistake all the time. I love to talk about myself. Uh, be, sensitive, be sensitive to other people's body language. So when you are talking, if you're going off on a tangent or a story, pay attention to the room. If the room is engaged and they're responding to you, cool, good for you. But make sure they are. If they're not, just cut it short. They'll like you for it. Trust me. And then don't interrupt. <laughs> Uh, those that network with me, again, know that this is probably another one of my things that I say and don't do. So don't interrupt. It's rude. People are nervous, just like you. Everybody is. And sometimes something as simple as a joke or an interruption can throw them off their game. And even though it's not your intent, you could really ruin their moment and hurt them. So let's do our best not to interrupt people. Once you get comfortable with a group in a room, that might not always be the same case. But, especially your first meeting, don't interrupt. <laughs>